Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, I thought as a quick video, it's now Saturday night and I'm getting ready to um, head off for my holidays. I thought I'd show you what I'd packed for the holiday. I know it's not overly exciting, but it's a video for you for while I'm away. And we can go through what I thought was my essentials and had to come with me. So let's do boring first. So in this packaging is my wax paper, which I get from Amazon. My wax paper sheets, it's just, it's food actually, you can wrap sandwiches and things in it. And that's to go in between my pages, because whether we're on holiday or not, our pages could still transfer. So that's my wax paper. And then in there I've shoved my trusty post-its. And the reason for that is, because I usually use a notebook that the children got me from school um, to record in order what I've used and what um, pages I've coloured but I don't want to take that with me I don't want all the bulk so post-its they can go in on the page that I've coloured with what I've used which won't be a problem because I'm going to take minimal supplies obviously but what I've coloured and when I did it so in what order so then I can transfer those into my notebook when I come home so that's the kind of maintenance side of things then if you watched my haul you'll know that I got little tiny colouring cases to take away on holiday for essentials so if we open this we can delve in and have a look so boring my pen for recording stuff so it's got paint on <laughs> and it's got the four colours so I get a bit of variation. There's that. This hadn't gone in but thank God I decided to film the video. Stickles. I can't take paints and glitters and all sorts of things but I can take a little pot of diamond stickles. It's a must have people. I can always jot down if I want to use a metallic paint or something like that when I come home. I could always jot down on one of my post-its what my plan was. This is my well-charged and trusty AFMAT eraser. It has to come. I can't do without it. Because my hands are shaky, um, I, um, I have to have it. I have to have it because I sometimes go out of the lines. So it's got to come with me. This is an incredible device if you haven't seen it. This is an electric eraser that recharges. Incredible. And this grey piece is an adapter for the very tiny erasers that you can get to fit it. So I'm taking two normal standard size ones and two very thin ones. It's got to be done, people. It's got to be done. Can you imagine being there, doing a page, loving it, and just not having the supply you need? Then, jelly rolls. So I have got a number 10 white jelly roll and a number six I think that's a fine tip one black equally essential black and white jelly rolls not sparkly just black and white awesome then in case they weren't enough or something goes wrong my poscas or I, you know I need a little bit more width or depth I've got the the smaller nib Poscas, which we all know and love and trust. So they're going in. There. And finally, oh no, not finally, my makeup brush for sweeping my pages away. That's still got to be done, whether we're on holiday or not. It has to be done. Can't, can't escape that. I don't want to smear my pages. And then instead of my gorgeous Dahl 1 to 33 eraser, uh, sharpener I don't really want to be lumping that around so I'm taking the very next best thing which is my gorgeous m &R metal sharpener that has different hole sizes in there and there awesome so that I'm tucking away in my little pencil case which is very compact and neat and won't take much room up so my husband won't moan when I go to pack, when we go to pack the car up, so there, 
all in there, the supplies I need, along with my wax paper and post-its. Right, pencils. Now, I did think long and hard about this, but you have to remember that we are going straight to our own caravan. And um, so I will be, the, the supplies that I take will be safe and secure. They are not going to be left out or thrown about or anything like that. So let's come out a little bit. So I decided, I know it's a risk, and people are going to go, oh, don't take those, but they will be perfectly safe. I am taking 200, the luminance and the um, Derwent Lightfast. Karen Dash luminance and the Derwent Lightfast because there's 200 pencils in here. They work brilliantly on most papers. I haven't found paper that I can't colour with them. So if there's not a colour in here that I need, then I'm kind of stuck anyway, aren't I? 200 pencils. I mean, come on. How many do we need for our holiday break? So I've got my eraser and I've got my pencils. Then it just leaves all going to be packed neatly in here then it just leaves what pages are we going to colour or am I going to colour well as you know we've got Rita Berman um, will be showing up on the day of release which I think is the 27th and I've paid to have it delivered to me on site because I'm sad like that so I'm not going to take a Rita Berman book I'll show you what I am going to take okay so before I show you the books, another absolute essential for me is my Ruby Charms Big Book of Colour Charts. You'll find this on, sorry about the camera shake, <coughs> excuse me, you'll find this on Amazon. But it's got all my pencils in it. Now, thinking about it, because I've limited myself to the Derwent's and the Karen Dash, I'm wondering if I should just, hmm, I wonder if I should just photocopy the page. I've got, um, I've got, let me show you, I filled in the special page, which is 77. Um, yeah, so I have got, if I turn it on its side, all of them on one page. Now I know the colours won't be exact if I photocopy it, however they would be easy enough for me to reference and look up but then do you know what I might just take the book and damn to hell with it you know have the proper colours there why not why not indeed people you know I, I'm going to look after them it's not as if they're going to be like I say, thrown around or discarded anywhere. They will be in our own caravan. So yes, I've made an executive decision. Ruby Charms comes with, coming with. Right, let's have a look at these colouring books. Okay, there are times on holiday where I am just not going to want to think about what colours I need to use. So I've picked a selection of books that are going to do that for me. So, I thought I'd take the posh colouring book, Inspired by Nature, and I picked a couple of pages out, and whatever page I don't do while I'm on holiday, or if I, if I even get round to it, so I picked this page, which I'd like to have a go at, and I picked this page. Um, whichever page we don't get, I don't get around to, then we can do as a colour along when I come home. But... I don't want to be thinking about colours, so I would just like to be able to pull out a pencil case and copy the images. So that's what I've gone for. That will give you a clue. So I've got the posh colouring book. Then I've got this one, which I ordered from um, Petra on Instagram. If you look her up, if you're interested in this book, you email her and she will send you a PayPal link where you can pay for it and she sends it to you. And it is incredible. So you get, not all of them, if we come out, not all of them, but some pages have got a page to copy on. And I think these are going to take time. They're not going to be quick fix colouring. So 
perfect for holiday. So I can say, okay, let's do the blue flowers. Do the blue flowers and then you haven't left it mid-flow so you don't know what you're doing and can't come back to it. And if I have, then I've got my little post-its to tell me what colours I've used. But it's the most adorable book. Zucchini Kitty did this one, did a really good job of it. Um, it's the most adorable book and I just thought, not easy, I wouldn't say it's easy, but gives you the colours, all I have to do is match them, pull them out and try and have a go. So, I'll be taking this one. Aren't they stunning? And like the background, I'd probably want to do with some water, but I'll wait till I get home. I can colour the image, and as long as I've got some sort of evening stuff to do, or daytime if we're just having a lazy day, then I've got my... I could just pull my book out and just enjoy. So I'm taking this one. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, but incredible book. So I've got that one and the posh colouring book. And then this gorgeous one that you saw in my haul. Um, Draw Me a Beautiful Doll, I think it is. And I've marked, which is the same thing. It's got a page for you to copy. If you look in my haul, um, the link for it is in there. It's an absolutely adorable book. And so I've marked a couple of pages. I love this one, which is the front cover. But I do love this one. She's adorable. And the light fast and the luminance have the skin tones in it that I need. And then I marked this gorgeous little lady. And again, there are enough elements that I can just keep dipping in and out. Like, you know, two or three leaves in an evening and then come back. As long as I've written down what colours I've used, it's not going to be a problem. So every single page in this book has a colour reference page of art. So, and I adore it. And these are the kind of books that you want to do when you feel relaxed and have the time to do it. So holiday's the time to do it. So I'm going to be taking this one. And then, just in case, <laughs> just in case I need something to just add lib with, I am taking Circle of Life and I'm taking Worlds Within Worlds by the lovely Curbster. So we all know how much we love Circle of Life, but there are some really simple ones in here, like just gone past. There are some, I say simple, I mean ones that you don't have to think about too many colours. You could, you know, just pick out simple colour. I can't find any now, I've said that there's a simple one in here. Can't find any of them. But there are, you know, more simpler pages that you could start and sit down to. And I'm taking these because it depends on your mood, doesn't it? You know, I might not want to sit and do a serious colouring that I have to copy the image and worry about. So I'm taking that, I'm taking Kirby Worlds Within Worlds, because I've done some in here, I'm very pleased with how they've turned out, I love them all, um, and I know that the pencils, that's a, a whip that I haven't finished, I know the pencils that I'm taking work, but I've been able to print some images, I won't show you them in case they're copyright, print some images that I can take with me for inspiration. And Kirby's a must, isn't he? He's got to come. And there's always, you can always find a picture, no matter what you're feeling, that there's something in there that you could colour. So that will give me a bit of focus, should I get bored? And then on the other side of the dream, so I've chosen this one because it's hardback. You know how I feel about the wonderful Karolina Kupakowska. She's coming on holiday with me. I think the only one I've done in here is the owl. And I think we did that together. I think you will see um, you will see a year and a half in review of everything we've done as colour alongs together or colour with me's together. And I missed this one out. Can't believe it. Anyway, I think we did that together. But this is hardback, so it's less likely to get battered about. Um, I can add paint when I get home. Simple image if I want to do something quick that is not going to take a million years and I love the art. 
so I'm taking Carolina Kuprikowska with me. Now you might think this is a lot, but we are actually away for 10 days. My son's coming to look after our house for us. He's coming to stay with his fiance. So the last one that I've decided I'm going to take, and like I said, don't forget, I'm going to have um, Rita Berman's will be turning up while I'm there, is Jasmine Beckett Griffith, Mermaids. Now the wonderful Kevin, who supports me and our channel so much with gifts, sent me this because I'd said it was the only one I didn't have in my collection. So I'm not going to show you them in case it's copyright, but I've printed Jasmine's pictures off for my own use to transfer to copy the image. So I've picked this one because I think she's adorable and I picked this one because she's also adorable and I love her big eyes and Jasmine's picture, the eyes are stunning. So I thought that would be quite challenging to have a go at. So I may not get round to all these books and supplies because we might be too busy or having too much fun. Or maybe one too many glasses of wine to pick up a colouring book. But I want them there with me. It's that comfort thing that if you decide to have a cosy night in because it's our caravan, we can if we want to, I can pull out my little table, get my supplies out, sit with my husband while he watches a film and do some colouring. And that, I think, is pretty much it. I don't think I've forgotten... I'm looking around my room thinking, oh, I want to take this and I want to take that. The other thing that I want to take, but it depends on bag space, is my inks. So, let me just get them for you. This is, don't check and think, Lucy. This is the storage that I brought, which is a paper storage tray, and it fits all those inks in. But then I've got two more because I've got my big ones in. So, I would have to leave some colours at home because I can't take all of those, but I could, I could squish the little one in and I could make sure that I take some browns with me because they come up quite a lot, don't they, the browns? And then my little trays of inking tools. I want to take my whole office, but I am thinking that I'm going to pick out my most used colours here, put them in this one case and take them with me. So, yes, I'm definitely going to do that. So I'm going to take my inks too. It's got to be done, people. It's got to be. <coughs> so, folks, I know it's a really short video, but I must go off and get packed and stuff and get myself organised. Um, and this is why I wanted to do the video now so I could get all my supplies in here packed up. So I hope you've enjoyed packing with me. <laughs> just a few supplies that I want to take. I want to take everything but I just can't. These are my inking tools. I'm sure that I could probably, just for our holiday, put them all in there. So I'd got all the colours in that one tub. I'm sure I could. Anyway, yes, so just think it out loud, people. So I hope you've enjoyed packing with me, and um, the next time I see you will be, well, I've got other videos that I will release, but you will see a video of me when Rita Berman's book is released. I am going to do a flip through of that from the caravan. And um, I did think about doing a little caravan tour with you. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't want to upset my husband and spend too much time colouring and crafting. All right, my lovely friends, take really good care of yourselves, and until I see you soon, night-night. <laughs>